America's greatest race car drivers and greatest car builders, and personally, one of my automotive heroes, Mr. Dan Gurney. And Dan's coming to us in a brand new Dan Gurney Signature Edition Serene. Here he is, our man, Dan Gurney. Well, it's great to have you here, Dan. Uh, tell you what, can you tell us a little bit about your car? When you asked me, was I interested? I only finally agreed to endorse what is a fabulous car uh, if it was faster than Parnelli's and it handled better than Parnelli's. <laughs> and for all, we're about the same price. <laughs> well, tell me, after all these years, you, you and Parnelli, you're not still competitive. It's, it's been almost 40 years since Trans Am. Uh, Arnelli and I are very good friends today, uh, unlike who it was in, uh, in the late 60s, early 70s, uh, when I used to call him Arn Oily, because he uh, won the Indy 500 with a pretty big oil leak in his car, and everyone was slipping and sliding. <laughs> I think we better get back to the car. We're going to refuel some old fires here real fast. So what can you tell us about this car? Well, it's a... Uh, 281 cubic inch, 4.6 liters, 465 horsepower, racecraft suspension, uh, a rear watch link in the rear geometry, uh, Pirelli Corsa tires. Uh, in fact, uh, my son, two sons and I uh, are helping Celine, I hope we help, uh, mm -hmm. tune the car. It's going to be one terrific car. It's great. Well, this car, ladies and gentlemen, it commemorates Dan's 1969 Trans Am car. Now, we're only going to build 300 of them. And here's how we're going to do them. 100 in red, 100 in white, and 100 in blue, like the car on the stage. We think that's pretty fitting for the man behind the All-American Racers. Now, the Gurney Signature Edition cars come with special body kits, including what you see behind us with the aluminum hood, special Gurney interiors, custom wheels, Tons of performance. We got Gertie accents all over the, the car. And uh, not only will Dan sign every car's dash for you, I hope, but we'll also have a plaque uh, that uh, he will sign that will commemorate the build number of the vehicle, as well as a certificate of authenticity that goes to the owner. So uh, that's the Gertie package. Uh, by the way, Dan, all those graphics, those graphics, those actually come in the trunk. I think that's a good place to keep them, <laughs> unless you uh, love tickets. Yeah, well, Traffic. it's pretty good advice, Dan. It's a pretty flashy car with a lot of uh, good gurney accents. Now, can I show you another car? Please do, yes. Well, this is a world premiere concept car by Celine. It's never been seen before. It's right behind here. So let's move out of the way. OK, here we go. <laughs> So this is as close as I'm ever going to get to making a Gurney Eagle racing car. It's right here. We call this car the S5S Raptor. Now the Raptor name comes from actually the high performance birds with their aggressive beak and their talons. They tend to rely on all their keen senses, especially their vision, to hunt down their prey. Guess what? It's an all-American made supercar with 650 horsepower coming from a Celine-built 5-liter that's fueled on cellulosic-based ethanol. Why ethanol? Well, many of the new racing formats are now adopting ethanol as the racing fuel of choice. This year, the American Le Mans series is now featuring ethanol, as is the IRL and many others to follow. So the car is both mean and clean. The stop's pretty good, too. It's got 15-inch talons up front with six-piston calipers. It's got forged uh, wheels, 20-inch wheels. And a Durabite, in a, what we call a Durabrite chrome, black chrome finish. And again, it's so this uh, chemical will not allow brake dust to stay on the wheels. Now, the engine and chassis, Dan, is all aluminum. But the body panels are largely made of lightweight composites. And this is largely from a lot of the lessons we've learned on making the Selene S7, as well as a lot of collaboration with Ford on the GT, as well as Dodge on the Viper. 
And we've got great design. The designer of this is a young guy named Dave Byron. 